Okay guys, welcome back to your 15th lesson and in this lesson obviously what we need to do is we need to add some code to make these buttons work because this game right now, they click the button, nothing happens, not a very fun game. So let's go ahead and hop over into update and this is where we add all the functionality whenever we want something to update in the game. In this case we want to go to either a different state, the play state, or we want to exit the game. So obviously whenever they go click one of those buttons they click it with the mouse so the first thing we need to do is we need to steal some information from the mouse to see where they're clicking basically we're gonna grab the X and Y position and determine are you clicking on the play now button or are you clicking on the uh, exit game button or are you just clicking randomly in the black area so again let me make sure my cursor is in the right place int POS X is going to be the X position of the mouse and in order to do that it's just mouse get X same thing with Y int position Y is going to store the Y location or Y coordinates of the mouse mouse get Y there you go so we now have the mouse X and Y coordinates stored in two variables POS X and POS Y so now we can say okay if your mouse is inside the play now button then go to the play state over here so let me code that if statement right now and my button sizes I already figured out all these sizes but typically whenever you make your own custom button then you need to just go ahead and think of the math or make sure that you have the size of the button length and width and it makes it a whole lot easier so I already figured all this out so you know I'm not going to take you guys through that but if position X actually we need two cases in here one for the uh, X coordinates and one for the Y coordinates and let me separate this like that I might be a little bit easier okay if position X is greater than 100 because that's where we started it at 100 and position X is less than 3 11 and that's why I said it's so important to um figure out the length and width of your button image because it makes this a whole lot easier I know that the length of this is 211 pixels so it makes the math really easy okay so that takes care of the X now for the Y if position Y is greater than 209 and make sure position Y is less than 260 then what you want to do is basically oh, I guess I might as well say this basically what we're doing is we're checking to say okay are the coordinates of your mouse inside this play now button this is only going to be true if the cursor is inside it's going to be false if it's anywhere outside so what what do we want to check for if the mouse is inside the coordinates basically hovering over the mouse or excuse me play now button well the first thing we want to do is we only want to go to the play now state if they click down the mouse if they click that button so therefore we need a separate if statement if mouse is button down now for here you type the uh, ID number of the button in the left button is zero remember the right button is one and inside here now this pretty much means if you click down inside the button what do you want to do well all we want to do is we want to take them to the play state so they can play the game so SPG enter state what state do you want to enter well we want to enter the play state which has the ID of one so now whenever they click the uh, play button right here it should take them to the play state and there's a freaking dot can you guys hear that Wow, right in the middle of my freaking video. So go ahead and click this. Awesome, it takes us to the play state. But we still got one problem, and that is the exit game button still won't work. And these freaking dogs, I swear, I'm about to get my freaking potato gun and shoot them right in the freaking tail. Okay, I'm not really going to do that, guys. But basically, let me just go ahead and copy this because it's basically the same code. And let me add a little comment. So this is the play now button and this is the exit button so obviously obviously the first thing we need to do is we need to change these coordinates right here so for this one remember it starts at 100 still it's the same distance over so 100 
to 311, the only thing that really changes is the Y coordinates. So the Y coordinates for this one is 109 and 160. And if this confuses you guys, remember whenever you're um, getting mouse information, remember that the Y coordinates get bigger as you go up. It's kind of a uh, you know counterintuitive if you ever work with graphics before but now basically the same button we only want to run this code if they're clicking down so what do we want to do if they're clicking down well we want to exit the game so the first thing we need to do is check for the mouse is button down basically did they left click over the exit now button if they did system exit and whenever you exit with a status of zero it means that you know it didn't crash it exited properly so now hopefully our exit button should work so cross your fingers and we'll see first thing notice that if I click anywhere outside the button like I am right now can you hear me clicking nothing is happening we already determined that play now button works and then whenever I click the exit game the program as it exits successfully just like we planned so that's basically it for the main menu now we can go ahead and hop over to the play area because right now whenever they say okay welcome to Bucky Land I want to play this game nothing so you know I think it would be a good idea to change that so in the next tutorial we're gonna be working on the play area or basically the cool stuff the game itself so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time